Native New Yorker and long-distance swimmer Diana Nyad swam for 48 hours straight to raise money and awareness for Hurricane Sandy. It's been a year since the superstorm ravaged parts of the Northeast. Many people are still recovering. Before her dive into the 40-yard outdoor pool in Herald Square, Nyad blogged on Huffington Post. Even though 48 hours nonstop swimming is always a test of endurance and focus, the point here is community spirit and important fundraising for people in need. Nyad was never alone in the pool. Irene Cargonia from Massapequa couldn't turn down a chance to swim next to her idol. I thought I'll get my suit on, take the train, and see if I could get in the pool next to her. But the main reason is we do need money. Many of Cargonia's neighbors on Long Island still need help. Long Island, we still have people that need money for their uh, repairing their homes. So I think this is a great thing she's doing. Nyad teamed up with AmeriCares, a nonprofit organization that has delivered more than $6 million in aid to those affected by Hurricane Sandy. Randy Weiss, their director of corporate communications, thinks the timing of the swim was just right. When a disaster happens, it doesn't end. There's still people stranded, but the media attention and attention may go away. With Diana doing this swim, it's helping to raise awareness for still people who do not have homes and are displaced and still need, there's a lot of aid that needs to be given from Sandy. After two straight days and 96 miles of swimming, Nyad raised more than $100,000. She only spoke with Good Morning America. It was just by a, by a thin line that I made it to the end. So um, it was real and it was a huge event. It was, it was wonderfully successful. Fundraising will continue through October. Ricky Recchia, Columbia Television News.